Hey guys, what's up? It's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. Now, uh, this is a very exciting Xcode tutorial for me because uh, I've been trying to crack this problem for ages now. Um, and this problem is how to create a hold down button. Now, if you've seen my previous tutorials, uh, I have done a tutorial on uh, image views and I think it's called Moving an Image Part 3 where I try and attempt to create a button that will carry on doing an action when it's hold down held down sorry and then when it's released it will still carry on now that's the problem because on a hold down button when they release it it stops carrying on now I didn't really know how to do that then now I have worked out how to do that um, now I'm just going to give a quick credit to the guy who actually originally came up with this idea for me to do a tutorial and his name is Obey Jawad and I don't really know how to say it um, but you know his channel will appear there um, so you can go check him out if you want so originally uh, I in our image view project when I told you to create a go uh, a hold down button uh, we created a timer and the timer would then call one of these methods and it will stop all the other ones and just call the one that was actually the button was being pressed now as I said before when you let go of the button it will still carry on moving down which is a bit of a problem because if you only have one button then it's not going to stop carrying on in that direction um, so basically we're gonna kind of get rid of all of this because this is all messy and it's kind of horrible and we're going to have two actions for each button. Now I know that sounds slightly weird, but what we're going to have, we're going to have a button that's get that gets connected to touch down, and then we're going to have a button that gets connected to touch up inside. But it's the same button, so it's an action. Sorry, not a button that goes to touch up, touch down, which happens as soon as I press the button, and then it's an action that goes to touch up inside to the same button. So when they release it will actually stop the code. Uh, so we're going to need two things basically for each direction you want to go. So if you want to go left, you're going to have to have two actions and two timers for that left. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to write out all those actions and voids and uh, I'll get back to you just to quickly explain it again. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see, uh, I just have these timers here. So there's the go up timer, go down timer, go left timer and go right timer. I obviously have an outlet for the image view that was all there pretty much before now what you'll notice down here is I've added a couple of extra actions now this action here is going to be connected to the down button but on touchdown so when they as soon as they touch the button it will start doing the code to move the image down screen then on this action for stop down I'm basically just going to stop the timer and that's it that's all it will do it will stop the timer and it will be connected to touch up inside so uh, now you can see that although it looks like a lot of actions, it's actually only four because two go to one button, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, and I also have four voids, each to actually do the code to move it down the screen. So what's going to happen, this action is going to call the timer and that timer is going to move the image down the screen using this void. Okay, so uh, let's get on with the code. So I'm going to go into the .m here. And uh, as you can see, we have all this error here because I've changed the name of the timers. Uh, I shouldn't really have done that, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to be deleting all these actions here. And, you know, I'm just going to, for simplicity, because I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this whole thing and I'll rewrite it and I'll go through it with you in a minute. So, uh, yep, like I just said, uh, I'm going to rewrite it and I'll see you in a minute. Alright guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I have done quite a lot of code, but don't worry, most of it's exactly the same as what we've uh, had before. I just like to reorganize myself and uh, let myself know where I am within my coding. So I'm just going to go uh, explain what the down does, and you can just work out what the rest do from there. It's just a change in name, and that's it, basically. So with this action of down, I implement the timer code, so I use the go down timer, and I call it an NS timer, scheduled timer with time interval of 0 0.05 seconds, which is quite fast. Um, so it will call the, and then the target will be self, i.e. the view controller. Uh, selector is going to be the go down void that tells it to go down screen. Uh, and yes, I want it to repeat, user info can be nil. Uh, the reason I want it to repeat is, you know, so it carries on going down the screen. Uh, this if statement here, um, basically, if it equals nil, which it will do because I tell it to down here, um, make sure it carries on so it's basically the, the code repeated again 
Um, and then this IB action for stop down is basically stopping the timer in validate and setting it to nil so that we can start it again with this code. Now, like I said, these two actions are exactly the same, just different names. So up instead of down, go up instead of go down, and yeah, basically the same. And now if we scroll down a bit after the right action, I, you can see here I have my voids. So I void, go up, go down, go left, go right. And uh, here's where I tell it to move. So go down is plus five to the Y. Go up is plus minus five to the Y. Go left is plus five to the X. And go right is minus five to the X. Um, so yep, I don't know if I have these right and lefts right. Um, so if I don't have them right, I'll obviously change them when I put the code in the description. So uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to pop over to the interface and uh, we're going to set right, it all up. So um, here's Interface Builder here, here's our project. Now what I'm going to do straight away is go to Files Owner and delete all these actions connected up just to the buttons. That's so I can start fresh and uh, you know just so I can know where I am. So like I said before, we're going connecting, to be connecting some actions to touch down and some actions to touch up inside. Uh, so just as an example, I'm going to go here with down, the down action, and the down action is going to call it to go down. So if I drag it to down here, you see I've got a load of options down here. Now touch up inside, which we use quite a lot, is only works when the user presses the button and then lets go. Um, so basically it's used so just in case the user didn't want to press that button, they can drag out and then not press it. Uh, so it's kind of a safety thing. Whereas touch down, which is the one we're going to be using, happens immediately. As soon as they touch the button, it will just do the action. Uh, so that's what we're going to be using because as soon as they touch the button, we want it to go down. So we do that. And now we're going to get our stop down action and connect it to the same button, but this time with touch up inside. Now that touch up inside, as I just explained, as soon as they let go, it will do the code. So our stop down obviously stops the timer, therefore stopping the image moving down. So if we collect it to touch up inside, we now have two actions connected to the same button, but with different kind of purposes. So uh, I hope that kind of clears everything up if you were a bit foggy at the start of the video. So what I'm going to do now, I'm basically just going to connect all these other buttons up and I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch it and uh, we'll get back and test the project. Okay guys, I'm back and uh, just a little reminder here, make sure you connect the buttons right. You don't want to have down going in touch up inside, otherwise that will make it not work and it will obviously be all rubbish and you won't get the effect you want. So like I said, make sure you get all that right. Um, so I'm just going to build and run now, test it out just so you can see the end result and uh, good luck with your project. Okay, so here we are in our app and as you can see, I hold up and let go and it stops. And I hold down, let go, and it stops, hold right. And, uh, yeah, I've got the right and the left buttons the wrong way around. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'll change the code when I put it in the description. So, obviously, they're going the wrong way. But, as you can see, our effect is working. I hold it down and let go, and it will do exactly what I want. When I'm holding it down, it will go down. When I let go, it will stop going down. And when I hold up, uh, it will carry on going up and when I let go it will stop going up so there you go guys uh, I hope that gets the desired effect that you want um, just a quick shout out to Technologies Crazy uh, his channel name should appear here uh, if my computer starts working uh, yeah just here uh, because he helped me out on this we were working on this together um, this this little touchdown effect because he wanted it so you know I was doing projects with him and eventually we worked it out so go check him out as well. He does a lot of cool videos. So, yep, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And see you in my next video.